All right, welcome to ASIP's True News. We're looking at the tremors for the last past 30 days right here. I was noticing the empty area in this spot. I always like to go back and check and see how things have been going in the past. Match things up. Empty in that spot. South of Seattle, Washington. South of Portland, Oregon. Empty areas. But there are no tremors for tonight. Or they're not showing anything, put it that way, for tonight. These are not tonight. These are for the past 30 days. Added all together. But you can see the pattern coming down through here. Right down the ring of fire. Look up the ring of fire and it will take you right up through here, right through this pattern. Okay, let's go check out Canada. There's one 22 hours ago, 1.6. Get over, we can see it. That was long. Okay, let's go check out the earthquakes over here. Puerto Rico swarming. You can see two that just hit a few moments ago. Okay, over here in Kansas. 1.8 northeast of Eastboro, Kansas. 5.0 kilometers deep. See what this one is down here in Texas. 2.5. I'll be showing you that information on that here in a few moments. Okay, we got a swarm right here in Utah. North northeast of Beaver, Utah. That one there is 1.0. And a 1.6 may be another one down in there. And north of Utah is a 0 0.5. Southeast of Howell, Howell 4.0 kilometers deep. And Yellowstone, 1.0. And... That was an accident. We got two down in here, 0 0.8, I think is 0 0.9, then a 0 0.1. Idaho's picking back up on this woman. That's a 2.0. Donnelly, Idaho, east of there, and over here in North East Oregon. Remember all those hot spots and fires we seen popping up over here a little bit ago? West southwest of Lostein, Oregon. 2.4. So I won't be showing that on the other feed, but you can see that they are here. 2.4 and a 1.7. It's another accident. I don't know why this does that. 1.7 kilometers deep on that 2.4. Over here, that's an explosion. All right, Northwest Washington. East Southeast is New. Newcastle, Washington, 9.8 kilometers deep, and this one is east of Larsale, Stillwater, Washington, 1.5, 21.2 kilometers deep. Another explosion, I'd say this was man-made explosion, because it is south of Princeton, we have reported several right there in that area, so I always debunk them, and Move on because it's man-made. Or it wouldn't be in the same area every time. Okay, Sutcliffe. I guess that's how they pronounce it. But it don't matter how it's pronounced. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm country and... 
it, even if you help me pronounce it, I'd still never get it right. Like that, uh, Josie. That's, uh, these are at southeast of Silver Springs, Nevada. Yeah, a lot of these names, you pronounce them way different than what they're written. And I'm country. It's hard to get used to that. But there's not much going on down through here. And over here in Rich... Let me just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, where I come from, like, uh, like Josie. Who would think it was San Jose? You know, it, I, I don't know that language, so I wouldn't know, but nothing but to call it Josie. Okay, that's a 2.1 north of Fillmore. Fillmore's got a small swarm starting to go on, and it may have been a little bit earlier, but watch that spot. That is north of a thousand oaks, and then we come over here, and you see, this one just hit 1.4, Yucca Valley, north of Yucca Valley. Ridgecrest, look at this. Not much going on at all. Just a few small ones. As much as Ridgecrest has got for the last few years, this is what you'd call nothing. Ridgecrest gets hit all the time. But that's 2.6. That spot there got, you know, hit right there pretty hard. At 6.1 kilometers deep. I'll show you the information on that. But anyway, Ridgecrest is, is lacking really bad. We got two up here on the, well, three on the new super volcano. That's southwest of Tom's place. And then a 1.8. And then right in the... New Super Volcano, Long Valley Caldera, 0 0.9, east of Mammoth Lakes. This is the new Super Volcano. It's as big or bigger than Yellowstone. Discovered a few years back, NASA and USGS, because of the activity increase. Okay, Nevada. Over here, we ain't got, don't got much going on. That's 2.1 north northeast of Tom's place. That, I'd say that may be related to over here, which this is Mammoth Lakes. Over here also we have Mammoth Lakes. And back here and up here. So I would say it's all related, put it that way. California geysers was lacking. But now it's starting to pick up around the geysers. And down here at Heldsburg and there's a 2.3 and that other one was smaller. Okay, you gotta try to keep up with this. What's going on? And we look for changes in the activity 0 0.5 north northwest of Verde, California. Now, what makes it hard on us to keep up with is there was a 4.0 I watched pop up right here yesterday. Went right down this fault and it right at the end of the fault. I zoomed down and checked it out. Was going to report it. It wasn't too long before my earthquake update come back it was gone quite a few other earthquakes across the plate same pop up went back they were gone i'm about to turn about decided on taking a picture every time i see an earthquake pop up that would be so hard to do but i don't know what's going on with them being removed all the time all right now this is a close-up on hawaii I'm just looking at it with this satellite imagery. And we go over here, and you can see how the pattern is coming around Mauna Loa. Now, we had a couple earthquakes here earlier. 
and I don't think there was there yesterday. I may have to go back and check, but they're all gone now. But it had a pattern going from here. I'm sure you seen it earlier, the people that looks at the map every now and then, and coming around. Always watch the patterns. When the pattern changes, we get changes. That's a 2.2 that just hit. There's nothing in here, 2.5 or greater, but you can look at the pattern and just the same as we've seen over here when Kilauea, before Kilauea erupted, a week before, yeah, we have all kinds of quakes over here. This is the earthquake state, is what they call it. But when the pattern changes from normal to activity that you haven't seen in the areas and the way they're going, even if they usually hit in this area and one over here every now and then, one over here every now and then, when they far up and the patterns, the way they go and the way they travel, you got to watch those. Now we're seeing a hot spot here in Mauna Loa. We're seeing a hot spot in Kilauea. Kilauea, hot spot. 89 earthquakes the next day. Next day, it erupted. Or next two days. Yeah, we had the 4.4 that evening. And then I reported the 4.4 to watch for an eruption. It erupted. USGS didn't report it until two hours later after the eruption. Now, same thing could go on here. We got to protect the public. You got to watch the signs. We've seen it once. We know it's there. Hot spot right there. Even showed you how I seen it. Anybody could look at it with, you know, their own self and know that it was there. Right in the dead center of the caldera. So if magma comes up once, you got water down here. Magma underwater puts gases. Gases and water and magma does not mix it can cause an explosion. So when they say this one over here is not erupting anymore, just wait until it stops. Don't trust it and try to get close to it because as far as I know, it's still erupting. And watch for this to fire up. I'm seeing signs of this one coming alive. Just be careful over there. Always be prepared. Now, on the hot spot, we've seen a hot spot here. Took six days, 5.7 hit here. It moves like a car, you know, like a, like you hear them earthquakes. Some of them you hear from miles away coming. They'll travel like a car. That's so many hundred miles down through there. But anyway, we've seen another big hot spot. Today is day five. Tomorrow is day six. Took six days for the other one to hit, but this one was deeper, way deeper, but way bigger also. This last hot spot I reported down there. So, if it don't come in six days, that's the reason I put out a report, 10 day watch. And it may be breaking up and causing all that activity right now because earlier, like right now, it got fallen to fault. Coming right down to San Andreas, right on down through there, and going to Puerto Rico, most of the activity is. Sorry to take up all your time. I know you're here for the earthquakes. But I got to explain things. All right. Now, these are small quakes. Look pretty normal. See what we have 2.5 and greater. One just hit. And there's two more. Oh, then here's a couple. Okay, I'm going to click on each one of these. That's a 4.6. And then I'll keep going and show you the information on them.
Okay, we got quite a few down here. Puerto Rico. Got a swarm going on there. Watch that area. We could see a large quake down there. But we're in five days. Tomorrow makes six. Let's see what happens. See where that hot spot goes. Okay, and here's the 5.0s and greater worldwide. And we only have one. Now, the reason I give that hot spot 10 days to show itself is because it was a lot larger and deep. So I don't know how fast it's moving. But I hope nothing comes out of it. I hope that's, that's what's going on now, is throwing them all down to San Andreas, taking them around a plate in a circle. I hope it's released without harming anybody or any large quakes. But I see a large quake coming. Be prepared. There's a large quake, and it's going somewhere. I'm, I could see it. I mean, it's, it's there. But hopefully it breaks up, but... I don't see it breaking up. So just be prepared anywhere you're at. And I'll see you on the next update. Everybody stay safe.